I grew up in Decatur, Illinois. Actually was born in Springfield, but moved to Decatur when I was five. So most of my childhood memories are from Decatur. I went to uh, public schools throughout until about uh, junior year of high school, which I switched to the Lutheran school and then ended up doing my undergraduate uh, career at Millican University in Decatur as well. So I was out of the house, but still in the same town. I, I stayed in the dorms there um, and I played soccer. For a long time, I really thought that I was gonna be a professional soccer player, but by the time I got to Millican, I realized that I needed to do something else with my life. And um, so that's when I really kind of found my, found my passion for science. And it really wasn't until my, well, into my sophomore or, or early junior year that I decided I really wanted to go into medicine. I was, I loved biology, I liked chemistry, but I found that I really wanted to have, a, I had a passion for serving others. And, and that kind of led me down the road of going into uh, medical school. I uh, ended up uh, going to Kirksville University, which is in uh, Kirksville, Missouri, uh, for osteopathic medical school, and, and went to Springfield for my residency, so back closer to home and family. So I was there for five years, and then ended up going out to Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, for foregut surgery fellowship, um, working with the esophagus and stomach, um, and doing some really neat uh, uh, surgeries endoscopically as well as some uh, really neat reflux surgeries for gastroesophageal reflux disease while I was out there. And yeah, so actually my, my father was an uh, internal medicine doctor, so he was a primary care doctor. Um, and I went into medical school, again, loving sports, and so I thought, oh, I'm going to be an orthopedic surgeon. That, that was really what I got uh, used to seeing when I was, you know, an athlete. Really realized that I didn't necessarily like dealing with joints all that much um, and thought, Kind of as my first two years of book work went on that I thought, well, this medicine stuff is really neat. I, I could see myself doing medicine. But by the time I got into my third and fourth year, I, I really decided I liked the OR and I liked anatomy a bunch. And general surgery is really a good mix between medicine and doing surgery. Um, I think that um, general surgeons in general take a lot of care for their patients and they take a lot of time. Um, to understand the medical portion of things before they take them to the operating room. And I take a lot of pride in trying to make sure that I am a good physician both medically and surgically to take care of patients. And that's what led me down to general surgery. So the instant gratification is nice from surgery. When you take somebody in and when you feel like you really, uh, when they get done with the surgery, you're like they feel 100% better or, or close to, you know, they may have some pain from their incisions, but that is, one of the things that's really nice about general surgery, I think that I really enjoy when, when I get to know a patient and I feel like I can help them with either one or multiple problems that they're having and get to have some sort of a long-term relationship, which in surgery isn't always the easiest, but um, it is gratifying to know that you've helped them both medically and surgically sometimes. And I think that being a good general surgeon it revolves around both those things of helping them both medically and surgically, and I, I enjoy that. I think patients that come to a surgeon in general are somewhat apprehensive. You know, they come and they say, I don't know that I really want surgery. And I think it's important to, to conduct yourself in a manner that shows that, hey, I'm here to help you and I don't just want to cut you open and, you know, take out your intestine or whatever. Um, and so I think that it's important to allow patients time um, to, to get comfortable with you before you just dive into saying, well, here's what we can do to fix it. Um, and I think it's really important to build that relationship and, and show, hey, I'm here to serve you and to, to try to figure out what's going on and try to make you feel better before you just say, here's what I got for you. Well, I have two kids, one that's three and one that's one right now, so they take up a ton of time. Um, I enjoy hanging out with them, but uh, my hobbies and passions have been put on hold both because of uh, training and because of them, um, which is not you know, unheard of and it's it's really okay with me. But I like to play sports. Um, I like to play soccer. I'm hoping to get back into playing some soccer while I'm here. Um, and, uh, you know, really just enjoying time outdoors with family and friends.